What's up Dapper Squad, it's your boy Darius, back at it again with some more Maiden Abyss, Season 2, Episode 3. This one is called A Village of the Hollows. Now, last episode threw me for a loop in terms of what could go on in this sixth layer because of this Village of Hollows. We got Maji Kaji, this like robotic, different language speaking, this I am intrigued, nervous, and excited at the same time like the curiosity is something that would genuinely get me killed in the show but i'm ooh, i'm loving the fact that i can watch rico reg and nanachi do it for me i can live vicariously through them don't forget if you guys want early access to the other shows i'm watching but also the uncut full-length version of this show and all the other shows i'm watching check out that patreon down below in the links that is all available over on the patreon don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel let's hop right on into this made in abyss season two episode three the village of the hollows let's do this all right village of the hollows we got majikaji right there now before seeing mitty i would be way more disturbed we'll say but now i see these and i instantly think of Mitty. It makes me feel bad for him, but also curious. I want to know all their backstories, all this, that, or the other, you know? Is this another one of, like, Nanachi's house? So we can go up without being afraid in this little, small village. And I also get, like, Toy Story, like, toys, like, Sid's toys vibes from these guys, you know? They do seem oddly intelligent, that's what I'm saying. I love the design of this village, though. I really do. Not like the actual architecture itself, but the coloring of the stones and the... Wa she the white whistle, we're breaking it open? The life reverberating stone? I think, no, yeah, wait, I think it's it's doing something. Is this how the white whistles are made? Rico can tell? The sound of a life's will. The life. Okay. I am... I'm so curious what language they're speaking, how this village started, what type of, what is Prusia going to be when it's done with it, you know, when it's done with her? What? Yeah, I understand that. I'm curious how that even works. So we got an whole ass village here of hollows. We got merchants. We got shops. Okay, I wonder. I'm what? Yeah, what's our currency? What kind of crazy relics are down here? It's not Orth. What is it? Oh, imagine seeing ancient. Oh, look at all those divers hats. Oh my god. These possibly could be old cave raiders. Am I? Am I wrong? A section for mother's letter. He said, don't touch my, don't touch my stuff. An item of equal value. What can we give up? yeah i did not think it would be like that thank you for being cool with it magica but like okay so no that's a number one thing around here no stealing so at least we're not going to be kidnapped okay they each have what they like you know Really? More or less. It's like Nen. Like, is there a physical, like, you actually are bound here? 
So there's pros and the blessings and the curses, you know? From the old ritual sites. Oh, on the fifth layer. Bondrudes. That love from Mitzi. I literally got goosebumps thinking, oh my god, yeah. Very powerful desire. That's crazy to think about. It's so sad. That one looks like a dick. That blue one she's talking to. It's so sad to think about, but I've I've come to the accept. I've come to accept it, and it's the reality of the situation. With Made in Abyss, I am praying they make it to Liza and Rico Neg, Rico Reg, and Nanachi live happily ever after and live a wonderful life. But I've it's been so long of me watching the show, and I I've definitely accepted that I totally could see this show ending with every character of ours dying. Like it's like another Attack on Titan Game of Thrones style show for me, where I would not be surprised if they turn into hollows, they have a horrible, I have no idea. This show is just so not okay and will do whatever it takes to make me feel bad. So that's why. Did it just fucking pop his eye out? Did it just kill Mania? Oh my god, it just stabbed Mania through the gut. This is our fuck <laughs> Oh my god. The way that Nan actually just pushed Mania's eye back in. I... <laughs> they have they have such a different culture and lifestyle over here that it was so weird to get used to yeah i don't know i was intrigued at the beginning of this episode we gotta get the fuck out of here this place is weird this place is dangerous we gotta get the fuck out what is going on why does this thing have fucking these butt cheeks like this the balancing has begun if you danger if you hurt a life in this area do you what the hell it takes all of your belong. What is going on? It ripped it right out of his butthole. To a value. There's an actual numerical no thing to this. I need to know what this black sentient creature is. Is it tied to this area that is cut off from the force field? Or is it a part of the force field abyss itself? I need to know who has the grand list or criteria of determining values of objects because clearly they can physically transform these objects into their currency and there's some sort of higher up that is determining the equilibrium because like uh kaji just said uh this thing just damaged mania whose value exceeded its own so in order to balance the scales anything that it possessed of it's like, you know, when you have debt and they go to your state to sell anything off for the debt you pay. But it's like, what, who, what is determining this? Yeah, like all this could have been avoided if she didn't. For what happened with Mena. And the coins themselves what the hell so it's like if you have a hundred pennies it automatically turns into a dollar and if you have a hundred dollars it automatically turns into like a, like what the hell is going on with this protection of the village the value is bound to you it's like fucking runescape you have a built-in wallet yeah if anyone fucks with us the village itself will tear them apart and sell their body to the rest of the people so it's like wow legit room A legit room uh, that's the reason I would be eating. So just so I can say I ate that, you know, I would take at least one bite. Just one bite. Yeah, never mind. Nope, I'm not taking a bite. Mm, I hate stomach issues. I had way too many stomach, you know. Uh, 
If I need to see Rico take another hot shit, that's a wrap for me. So while <laughs> Mania and Rico are chilling, we're going out exploring, seeing what's going on with the village. Got some commotion out here. Faputa. It must be Faputa. Very rare, always very rank angry. But I wouldn't expect that creature who was watching us to be always very angry. This one's always very angry. I agree. Yeah, so Nanachi watch over, be our anchor, and then uh, Reg, be our scout. So this is the force field again. They can't leave. Oh, this is most definitely not the thing that stole our thing. This thing looks badass as all hell. What the hell was that? Is that the thing that looks like Big Daddy from Bioshock? The meaning in the common language. Princess. That might be the thing. Princess of the Hollows. As we cut back over to Vueco, I was literally just about to say it looks like her. They made it down to the six and they're intercepted by hollows. Yeah, them making it down this far, they've probably lost people, gone through horrible stuff. The Golden City. This is it. Welcome to the sixth layer. That was the end of the episode. I swear to God, that was five minutes long. Okay, a lot, a lot happened this episode. I am very excited. My intrigue is at an all time high. My nervousness is at an all time high as well, especially with that cliffhanger. Ending it off with Faputa, the princess of Hollows, with literally look like Big Daddy from Bioshock. So I am very curious what's going to happen. Very curious the whole balancing the intrinsic value of things, the, the dark spirits, the curse, the force field, this area. Who was the first Hollows here? These Hollows look even different from the Hollows who just met up with Waco's group. They m l look. <laughs> They look more like Maji Kaja, who was like a, he said he was only smell. So was he like a gaseous form that could take place in a vessel? Like, ah, I'm so intrigued and I'm sure I can get like a whole bunch of answers probably later on and I'm so ready for it, but God, man, I wanted some answers right now. I was really nervous about mania that then the thing that damaged mania got like torn up. Like I would not want to live in this village. Ah, this is crazy got a marketplace currency i'm very excited about next episode that was a crazy cliffhanger god damn i gotta wait till another week uh does it even say the, the title next week's episode no if you guys enjoyed please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel much appreciated, y'all. Check out that Patreon, early access, full length, all that jazz. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.